How are you doing today, guys? I hope you noticed that this is a brand new bullish chair assembly there, and this is a brand new bullish chair boxed sealed here. Now I will explain you in details the story behind this, but for that, let's start from the start, shall we? How often you buy a new chair? In this video, I'm going to unbox, assembly, the Bullies Elite chair, so you can find out if that's the chair for you or not. So let's get started, shall we? So let me show you this. This is a seal box, and I just found out it's upside down. It's a seal box. I'm going to just remove all the items, and I'm going to place on the table. So then you can have an idea what comes inside. Instructions. Very important instructions. So I'm gonna leave this here. Let's see if I can fit everything here. Second item on top of that. This is a little neck pillow. Very nice. Let's keep moving. Box with parts to assembly, I guess. Uh, ah, we have this tar. I think it's the commands below the chair. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. One arm. Second arm. This is the bottom. Great. I thought I have plenty of space. Go back in the box real quick. Let's see this here. Fast forward this real quick. Let's um wrap everything. They are so comfortable. The fabric in this thing, it's amazing. The best part, this is so cool. Okay, so now we have unwrapped everything. Let's chase the coin. Like very thick, like very wide. And you can adjust. And you have the little thing to go up and down. To be honest, I am not an armrest guy. So I'm just gonna place this on the side. If you are, I found them very nice. Gas piston. This is like a shock. It looks very, very high quality, which is what you expect when you buy um, something above average. Okay, so this is probably the thing that goes in here. Yeah. In case I'm missing something. Okay. They ask to start with the bottom. There are four screws here, which they come out. Oh, okay, so there is uh, an actual two that includes, but I might as well just use something else. Well, that's quicker, right? But you do have the two on the kit. It's very nice that they include the two in the kit. You have you have some washers. So I'm gonna get started with the wheels and the star. Um, it seems that you just pop in. <laughs> okay. This is the chair um, 
actions or commands, whatever you call. I think this is the part we have to be very careful because you don't want to put a uh, wrong. Yeah, I can't see any indication where is the front and where is the back physically in the part. But um, I think for that, we're gonna take back our manual to make sure we are not placing that the opposite way around. Um, it doesn't really give you a clear indication on the manual either, but I can see two things in this manual. First, the washers. The plastic washers, we need to probably place them before the actual bit that goes on the top. So the bit that goes on the top has the um, upper um, part to behind it. So I guess that's it. So the upper bit to behind it, like that. Worst case scenario, you're gonna have to do it again. I'm just gonna place this here. And there you have it. Now, I'm going to just do a quickly <coughs> torque-ish because obviously, that machine it's not very strong and you want to make sure you're gonna tie this as, as best as you can obviously okay we sit this here let me take this okay I'm going to basically pop that shock in the center. I don't know, cool looking shock, exposed. But if you want some finishing, you put that in. Next, we will be popping in this seat on top of that. And somehow this is going to fit to each other. That was quite simple. And I believe that was correct. <laughs> I'm gonna wait to see, to find out because that is a no-go for me. <laughs> Just saying. Anyway, next step, let's jump to the seat back beat. I just want to show you guys, because I'm sure you can see this, the screws are straight on the fabric. This is kind of, it's not a leather, but it's kind of a leather. It's very soft, it's very nice. Why did I not get started and remove this? So I'm just going to remove this real quick here. Done. Now, what? the manual says it's to slide in on the top and that should fit in the correct position let's see i guess we need to be careful when you slide this in And three, two, one. Drama. I stopped right there because I noticed my chair was moving on its own. And here you have it. That's the video showing you exactly what I seen that day. 
So I stopped recording straight away because I was very upset, got that video and sent it to Bully support and they replied my email telling me their support look at my video and they believe it's the mechanism that controls the actions on the chair that is faulty. <laughs> <laughs> and then they offered me a part replacement. I was like, okay, thanks. Well, how am I supposed to change that replacement? Because that goes in the shock, that goes in the star and that it's stuck there forever. There's no way you can remove that okay jokes apart but anyway they finally recognized it's fine we're gonna give you a chair replacement i was super happy with that because you know support is there but i do feel i have to tell you the support wasn't that fast it took me a few weeks to get this resolution and about a month to get my chair delivered and when i finally got it here you have it the plastic cover on the side was cracked it wasn't even in place and the chair cushions it was all smashed. I don't know. It was pressed by the wheels, I guess. But look at how the condition was. Funny fact, though, the first chair I received had the same marks on the chair cushions. So I guess they have some serious problem with logistics. Anyway, I did come back to support and I let them know, thanks, the chair has arrived, but there is a side cover that is cracked. I need a replacement. And they did apologize and recognize the problem and they sent me a replacement, which... <laughs> arrived in two weeks but supports there guys so that's a good bit anyway going back to the video after removing all the items from the box i finally found the cracked part inside lost it so there he is now guys i finally finished unboxing everything so i was just thinking um should i stop the recording and send the new chair for me and that's it going home but no i decided to record it you know why because i was thinking maybe there is something else <laughs> And surprisingly, there was something else. When I unboxed this bit that I came across to the plastic cover that covers the shock mount, I was like, what? No way, it was all cracked and there he is. Let me show you guys. This is so disappointed. But anyway, I'm not doing this to give like a bad reputation to bullies, okay? I am simply sharing my experience. I will give you a very good overview of this chair at the end. Let's just move forward because I do have something else very interesting to share with you guys. But first, let me just place all the items on the table so you can have an idea again on what comes in the box. And boom, there you have it. Now I'm just going to try fast forward this a little bit because there is no point to show you this all over again. Or maybe there is one actually. Let me show you this real quick. This was the faulty part of my first chair, right? And that physical indication there, pointing front, it wasn't definitely on my first chair that I received. So that maybe, I'm just saying, is a second revision. Maybe there was a manufacturer issue, they address and they fix it. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm making things up on my head. But anyway, I have an idea. If you purchase one or you're going to purchase one, drop a comment below and let us know what you received. If it does the second revision or the first one that has no signs at all. Yeah, that's a good idea though. So then we can have a resolution if that is a second revision or not. But anyway, moving forward with the assembly video, the second one, <laughs> I am almost done at this point and I'm super happy with the results. I realized the chair is way steadier than the first one and there is no issues whatsoever with the gas shock either with the chair mechanism that controls the actions and that's it guys there were no more surprises i am just going to fast forward the videos to complete the assembling of the second chair and i'm going to share my thoughts with you because bully's chair is a good chair though mm. okay so let me put this way from my perspective okay i looked up online many other brands and they are super overpriced they're like very expensive bully chair comes with a very decent price in the range between 200 300 euro but don't forget to mention there are always offers in the website which is great you know you get 70 euro maybe 80 euro discount out of a product this is amazing guys really now guys i feel that i have to remind you this my own experience truly honest transparent with bullish chair hasn't been the greatest ever i had a very much loads of problems with bullies you know but if you come back to me and you ask today are you happy with the bullish chair i would totally say straight yes you pay a very decent price for a very premium material it's not the best but it's super soft the seat the lumbar support is there 
neck pillow is there you fully adjust this chair for the position you want it's very ergo friendly it has this option that you can lock the chair in position so you won't be leaning backwards which is great i really like my chair solid rock 90 degrees for me that's very important the chair itself it's super steady and at the bottom you have this usual mechanism i think all the chair has this nowadays that you can loosen up a little bit to be flexible or just tight to the point that's going to be solid rock which is my case i like my chair 90 degrees solid and there you have it guys i don't have anything else to add i did my very transparent genuine honest review on this chair am i happy i am super happy there is highs and lows of this chair i put them all in this video i hope you guys can watch it and make a decision if you want or not if that's the perfect chair for you or not now guys as usual this video was a lot of work put together i'm starting this channel and i only have a few videos but i'm going to be uploading more and more content there is a lot of tech stuff coming up very soon i have a keyboard i have a go xlr i have a mouse video all my project session i'm going to be completing them slowly and uploading them if you like what you see please don't forget to subscribe support the channel drop the like and the comments if i can help you i will answer that for you thank you so much guys and see you next time